I'll with take chalk. that. Yeah, with chalk. Yeah, that's, I should have done that for the whole thing. You're like <laughs> a clairvoyant. <laughs> I know, right? Uh, big time rematch, UCLA, uh, Kentucky. Uh, UCLA beat them 97-92 back in December. What's one area where each team needs to get it better this time? I think Bucard. Now, for Kentucky, it's all about being connected. Early in the season, they were playing like they were playing three and four freshmen. Now they have better trust. They're more connected. They're defending the ball better. And they've really improved in their ball screen defense. But here's what this game is going to come down to. Try to impact the rhythm of the game a little bit. That's why I say that turnovers, second chance points will be huge. This game, just sit back, get a cold beverage, and <laughs> watch. This will be as good a game as we'll have in the tournament. And this weekend, I mean, it's tough. To, to, to see a better game in that Michigan game yesterday. Mm -hmm. that, that game. Mm -hmm. Farouk Manesh. Yeah, uh, the 2010 NCAA tournament had been defined by upsets. Eight double-digit seeds moved through the bracket in the first round, and this game topped them all. Yeah, it was seven years ago today, Northern Iowa pulling off a stunning upset of top overall seed, Kansas. On both sides of the ball, brother Mike Hill with the highlight read. It is our time. I know, right? Yeah. <laughs> right next to the Masters. Track. Yeah. Uh, you can hear more from Tiger tonight on Sports Center. He goes one on one with SBP, midnight Eastern. Uh, we happen to have Ryan Rossillo here, host of Rossillo and Canal on ESPN Radio. A um, lot to unpack from that. First of all, what's your reaction to what Tiger had to say? I think we've done this reorbit of Tiger story, like, like the health of somebody mm -hmm. here. I'm not even yeah. calling him so. I'm just saying, like, we've done this so many times with Tiger. And this, I hope this is not perceived as an anti-Tiger thing because it isn't. It's just I don't have anything else to add. He's right, finishing. finishing. Yeah. Okay, well, we, we at least saw him and, and heard from him for the, the first time in a while. The putting looked great. The looked great, And when obviously. he ran to get that ball. <laughs> and then he that ran looked... to get the ball, and he looked spry. Yeah. The back, he fired there a bit. But I am all for him being great again. Like, I thought it would happen. And the weird thing is, is post all of his family issues he had, mm -hmm. I'm not anti him. But I am anti when I look at Cleveland's schedule and realize they hadn't been back-to-back -back since last Saturday, Sunday. And I wouldn't spend a minute watching that Clippers-Cavs game once I realized that everybody was sitting out. And again, it wasn't even the beginning of a back-to-back. -back. It was the first night out on the West Coast, and then they decided to play against the Lakers team they probably could have beat without all. Stars in the league that are 23, 24 years old going, oh, back-to-back. -back. <laughs> you know, I mean, what are you, nuts? Like, I want to wear this new Gucci blazer I bought. I want to, like, I think it's cool for some NBA stars to sit in their street clothes and, like, hit on girls. I, I swear to God, like, I see it where I'll go, you guys just don't want to play tonight because it's like, nah, it's going to be cool. I'll get like 72 games in. But say it for it, and there are people that are in jobs that, you know, are not being an NBA All-Star. So, I mean, that's a tough comp there. I like that. When you, when you incorporate the troops, like, there's only so much yeah. you can respond right. uh, in, in return. All right, you can catch and hear more of Ryan on the 10 o'clock Sports Center, as well as on ESPN Radio at 1 p.m. Eastern. Ryan, we appreciate it. the better half, quite frankly, of, of Rosillo and Kinnick. I had a little bit, but of course, you love the, the little brother Rivalry, right? Yeah, weren't you taught growing up? Throw the, make sure you throw the first <laughs> punch. You don't want to be the guy that catches the first one. You might not get a chance to throw one if well, you catch they it. Well, they always, they always, the guy that throws the second one always gets in the most trouble. Well, this we time they're both going to get in equal amounts of trouble, I would imagine. Absolutely. As we welcome in Tim Legler, and, and we see plenty of scuffles in the NBA. It seems like almost nightly at this point, but this one was a little bit different. This escalated to the point of punches being yeah. thrown. Why Why was this one a little bit more intense? Yeah, you re Team saying they're hoping he's going to be back for training camp. One thing we do know for sure, he's not going to be in OTAs as we welcome in our NFL analysts just Saturday. So considering the year that the Panthers had and just offensively, how important are OTAs when you look at them wanting to move forward and improve? Well, yeah, it's a big deal. I mean, you think about or the left. NBA analyst Tim Legler joining us. Um, we see scuffles nightly but this just felt different what, why i'm guessing something a little bit always necessarily the best idea can render you even more defenseless so i personally think there's something more to it uh, over the course elbow they took to the kidney you ever been in a fight on the court or had to play peacemaker and pull someone back oh sure absolutely but it was not we didn't quite get in there gonna go <laughs> uh, but, and then you got in there you know now they, they, usually they're in there before anything serious happens uh, legs always throws the first punch right absolutely yeah, yeah. but it's always with my left it's the money maker. Okay. The shoot. It's the money maker. That yeah. One. Yeah. That's right. Absolutely. With a left we're, hook we're... <laughs> or an uppercut. I'll tell you right now. <laughs> Steve Kerr's plan is, you know, a shorter season. He'll take less pay. Not likely to happen, as Stu Gatz pointed out last hour. But what about some maybe more likely scenarios that might be a better solution 
to this issue that we're seeing right now. I mean, it ultimately all re were on the road the next night. So I even included those, and they've only won one of those. And so I went and looked a little bit road. So, and, that, and the Cavaliers only have 12 of those all year. So they've already adapted it slowly over time. particularly when it pertains to those major marquee games, make sure the guys have time so that there's no excuse of why they're not playing in those really prominent national games that everybody wants to see between two heavyweights. Yeah, got, got to be some middle ground somewhere between the players and uh, the TV deals and all that kind of thing. Tim's going to be back in the 10 o'clock hour of Sports Center. Much more from around the 